It was with great concern I got phone calls in relation to the provision of, let's be blunt about what it was, it was incontinence pads for older people, which would be provided by the HSE. And I raised the issue in a parliamentary question and it was passed on to the HSE. And I think we just have to look at the human side of this. Looking after older people, loved ones, is a challenging task at the best of times. And we find the same thing with people looking after people with disabilities. Without all the time having to fight for basic things to be done rightly. And unfortunately, that seems to be the way so many of these issues are, that people have to constantly fight to get basic services. Now, I understand that the delivery and supply of these hygiene products was very, very good. No problem. Until procurement came in the way. And it seems to me that this centralised procurement, that all the procurement processes we have, from the children's hospital down to incontinence pads, is leading us to innumerable difficulties. And suddenly, no longer could you depend on either the right quantity being delivered, or they have been delivered in time. Now, nobody minds, well, everyone minds one off blip, but they say Homer cannot. But when this becomes a continuous problem, then it becomes very, very serious. And as I said, it should never have happened. When I raised the issue with the HSC, what the HSC said to me is, and here we're back to this national procurement, takes out the local deliveries, the local suppliers, the people you can rely on, the people who care. I'll read out what they said. They said, following a national tender process, Freight Speed were the successful bidders and awarded the contract for the delivery of, an incon of incontinence wear. The HSE have encountered some issues around supply, but are working hard with Freight Speed to improve the situation. And I'm naming who they are because they're named in the letter from the HSE to me. Now, Minister, when are we going to, to go back to a system of procurement that doesn't just go on price, but goes on service, goes on reputation? And if I might say so, can I suggest that these should be done locally and not nationally because what's happening is very, very good, regular, reliable local suppliers are being pushed out by the big people who don't have the same attention to the individuals that was there in the past. I think any of us who were in the situation the people in the west of Ireland was with a faulty delivery would say, will you put the people ahead of the God of this procurement process that just seems to make a shambles of procurement from the highest level, but they're over under the hospital right down to just delivering a few incontinence pads in time, on time, all the time. Good to meet Margaret. Good Margaret. Chuck that. Thanks, Mr. Corolla. Um, and I want to thank Deputy O'Keefe and um, to, 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 for the opportunity to address the issue on behalf of my colleague, Minister for Health. The community funded scheme are a collective name of many products, supports, supplies and aid of applicants provided through the HSE community service for eligible persons. The main purpose is to assist and support services users to live at home and also facilitate hospital avoidance and assist in early discharge from our hospitals. The products are prescribed by consultants, GPs, public health nurses, con um, uh, advisors, uh, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists and dietitians. The 
products including continent wear were all delivered to healthcare settings such as long stay residential services and to persons in their own home. The HSE is a national contract for the supply in continent products. Following a tender process, the HSE selected a new uh, product supplier and a new product distributor in 2018. I understand the HSE has that the new contractor has involved a lot of changes in the range of products and their distribution. There have been some issues in relation to the timely delivery of products under the new contract. In 2018, the HSE put in measures to place including, staff, including additional staff, electronic management system and training of drivers to address the initial difficulties. The HSE has informed the Minister felt that it has continued to work closely with the contract delivery partners to ensure that problem experiences by some services in the community health care, West Region and other CHO community organisations are, are addressed as a matter of priority. A government structure has been put in place to oversee the national contract for the supply and delivery of incontinent products to ensure that timely delivery of these products is an el to eligible persons in their home across all CHO areas. This involves each CHO area putting in, pla in place additional control and monitoring measures in respect of the ordering and distribution of these products. To support this process, additional administration staff have been put in place to carry out this work. The HSE is committed to ensuring that these services improvements will result in an enhanced and more effective service for all. In the meantime, service users should let their local <coughs> excuse me, public health nurse, nursing services or health centre know if they are experiencing difficulties with the supply of the products. And Chair, I will come back in on some of the issues that Deputy has raised. Minister, thanks. Deputy, to respond. Minister, I'm not blaming you. You get these answers to read out. But it blows my mind what we've just heard here. We set up this national procurement system to so-called save money. And what do we get a result? Chaos, inefficiency, non-delivery, massive cost for the HSE in trying to undo the mess they just created because it was working perfectly up until this tendering process. And all the savings that they probably made on this, if they made any savings, by doing it on a national basis rather than allowing the old local tendering that we used to have, wind up in the HSE having to apply even more staff to monitor and to try to get this right. Now, there's a saying that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or is it? Sorry, if it ain't broken, don't break it. My apologies. But what we seem hell-bent in this country is breaking everything and, as I said, creating a central inefficient supply chain that doesn't work in the name of some savings that don't never materialise. And also, if I might say so, we're taking jobs out of the smaller suppliers and therefore we're eliminating real competition. Not competition just on price, not on the visible price, but competition on the real price of people getting on time, in time, what they need. And in the final insult in what you were given, and as I said, I accept you were given this, in the meantime, service users should let their local public health nursing service or health centre know. In this case, of course, it's the families of the service users who are hugely burdened already with problems. Who have to put right something that they shouldn't have to put right. Another burden is thrown on people. Thanks, is Deputy. the humanity gone out of this country okay. Thanks, Deputy. in the name of some god of procurement? Thanks, Deputy. Or are we going to go back to a situation that will put the people first? Thanks, Deputy Minister. Thanks, Chair. And again, I apologise to, to Deputy O'Keefe if the answer is inadequate for him. But anyway, I've been handed this. But I just want to make some comments on what uh, Deputy O'Keefe has said. And we all want what's best for those who are ill in our communities, particularly those loved ones who spend a lot of time at home, and particularly those people who are in nursing home. And I'm not on on on. on um, 
I'm familiar with the fact that when my own mother was so ill at home, it was because of the local service that made life easier for all of us when we were looking after her. Um, the basic things, as you have said, simple things like incontinent pads and other um, medical um, equipment that will help people stay at home and live and help the, their carers and, and, and their family be able to give them the care that they need at home. I didn't decide that, I didn't uh, actually decide that this, there would be a a process for this, except I do believe that at some stage we do have to look at local care and we do have to connect that to our primary care centres. And why this problem has arisen, I can only uh, relate to you on the answer I've been given, but I can assure the Deputy that everything has been done through the HSE and through the Minister of Health and the HSE to keep um, the services in place and to make sure to keep the supply chain in, in place and to make sure that it's done effectively and efficiently, efficiently in each local area. And that's what we all want. Nobody wants to see anybody, particularly people caring for those who are ill, to be left without incontinent pads or other medical devices in their local community. Uh, the procurement uh, process you may not agree with, probably some of us here don't agree with it neither, but whoever is in place, but it's most important to make sure that whoever gets this contract uh, does the delivery on time and delivers effectively to those people who are caring for their loved ones, whether at home or in other uh, health, 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 health areas. So I have no other Thanks, further Minister. thing to add, Chair. Great. Just I will take um, Minister O'Keefe's uh, response back to Minister Harris and I'll make sure that he, he hears what Minister o uh, Deputy O'Keefe had to say. Thanks. Thanks, Minister. Appreciate